All right, you won. We're painting the damn hood. Everyone was losing their minds. Losing it. The comments and emails and misspelled texts and all I was getting. Too much the hood, Merc and polish it, this and that. Well, we'll see if Merc and polish this. So I got some, I spent $28 on paint, color match. And uh, I'm gonna give this a scuff. I'm gonna take off my little, uh, where these are. Aluminum hole maker nicers. And uh, we're gonna scuff the thing up with some 120. I think this whole thing is just, just rusty. But uh, we'll scuff her up. I'm gonna fog it with primer in a few spots. A lot of spots, I guess. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I don't know. There's some paint on it. This thing's got red on it and all sorts of stuff. It's, it's ugly. I mean, it's, it's gonna look rough. There's no bones about it. I bought another hood. Uh, ridiculous hood. Maybe I'll put a picture up here. But uh, it's actually in Edmonton. Uh, I don't live in Edmonton. So I got a buddy to go pick it up. And he's storing it for me until I, uh, until I go pick it up. Or, uh, I don't know. See if I can work a deal to get it over here. So... In the meantime, we'll have this, and it'll look just fine, so we'll get it all painted up, we'll dry it up, and then, uh, well, maybe we'll put it on the car and kind of sand it there. This thing is so floppy, because I cut all the strength out of it, and I may end up having to trim a little bit more out of it, but we'll get it all blue, just so everyone can just relax. It's good. All right, watch me suffer. <laughs> Nice and ugly. So like my cars and my women. So uh, what I did is I just fogged the parts that were really, really rusty and a few little edges and stuff. Ultimately, I don't really care what it's gonna look like. We're gonna paint a bunch of blue on it. We're gonna try and bring it through. And if I go too far, whatever, I'll put more blue on or more red or kind of figure it out. So I think I'll just get it so it's drying. We'll fog it all blue, or at least I'll put a coat on all the, the primer first, probably in a few coats. We'll give the whole thing a once over. It's still rough. I left all the scratches and stuff in it, so hopefully I can kind of get in there, make it look beat up, drag a chain across it, whatever I want to do. And uh, yeah, that should be good. And uh, so currently I'm actually working on the exhaust on this pile. But once I do that, then I can put the hood back on maybe, and I'll kind of wet sand it and do that while it's on the car. So I'll have a little bit more strength. But uh, for right now, I haven't done that. All right, we'll be back when it's dry. All right, so I put a little bit on it. It actually covers pretty dang good. So let's bog this thing down. Bear in mind, I'm not really overly concerned with how it all looks because we're gonna wet sand or scuff this all up anyways. So, I think we'll just give her a couple of coats. Let it dry. happy now could you put the torches out you know like you don't you don't gotta chase me up so there we go man is it rough looking well you can see it's rough yikes but we'll let that uh, harden up for a little bit uh, I still have about a half can of paint so I can still touch up you can still it's bleeding through which is fine so I'm gonna sand through it anyways so I'll let this dry up a little bit then I'm gonna slap it in this general area. Like I said, I'm working on the exhaust right now. I'm hoping I can kind of get that tied up uh, shortly here. 
and then I can drop it down that I can work at uh, at waist height. God, is that a good looking motor, eh? But yeah, so there you go, dents and all, very little prep. I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll do it tonight, we'll see how the night goes. Uh, like I said, when I get the exhaust done, we'll put it back on at least, and yeah. Well, it's pretty hard. We'll start sanding. Um, cards on the table. Burnt the crap out of my hand welding. Because I'm an idiot, didn't have a glove on. Because it was only a tack weld, but then I touched something that was not tack welded. So, since I don't want to stop working, because I was doing the other video on welding the exhaust, I was going to leave this for a day. Well, I'm not going to leave this for a day. And I'm going to wet sand it. <clears throat> because the nice thing about wet sanding is you get to use cold water. Ah. So, I'm going to wet this all down. It might be a little soft, but we're going to use... This is 400. I thought I had 500 somewhere. Just to get the rough stuff out of it. And then... Uh, We'll kind of upgrade that to, to 2000 or something like that. Maybe I'll bring you around and show you real quick. It happens fast. Even turn the heat off so you get optimum sound. What? Look at this fancy tripod work I'm doing. Man, I got skills. All right. So wet it all down. And you can already see it's coming through. A little bit of rust and whatnot. Man. This is rough stuff. So we're just going to kind of give it random spots here. Have it kind of mangle up. But you can see how fast that comes through. Now it always shows a little bit more when it's uh, wet. When it dries it does dull out a little. But you can kind of see <clears throat> my goal is where it's kind of really sticking up. I want to kind of sand that down, make it more smooth, so it'll be all kind of gibbled. But, uh, yeah. So I'll set the lapsy laps up. We'll see how far I get. Well, I'm sure I'm going to get the whole way done, because I've already started. And I'll start doing tonight when your hand hurts. So there you go, that's step one. Now I left the white in it, I did that on purpose. Now my thoughts are, I don't want anyone thinking I chopped up an original mint shape hood on this thing, because clearly I didn't, and uh, people are nuts. So you'll be able to say, no, 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 it was just some beater hood and stuff. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, there's, here there's almost like a little bit of like it's silver and white and whatever kind of coming through anyways, and rust and rot. So I think, it's hard to get away from it. It looks good. I wanted the fenders to be the most beat part. I did the front, so it's definitely a little unhappy. And then again, at the back, and kind of where I went around there. Now the next step, we're going to hit it with some thousand grit, which will kind of level out some of the uh, uh, sanding. It won't be quite so hard. It'll be a little bit more soft, kind of like this. You can see it's 
blending in versus that which is kind of like splotchy. So that's what the thousands are going to do. Uh, once you do that, that's a little, little textured look there. When I was sanding, I basically went down until it got smooth. That was the goal. A little ice water for my thingies. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. The front might need a little bit more. Again, I want to get a bird for it. And I want to get a little Chevrolet thing. I do have the chrome for it. So that'll all kind of draw your eye away from it once you get the headlights and trim rings and all that. So it'll look a little nicer. But overall, I think it's coming. So I'm going to get sanding with the 800 or 1000, whatever the hell that is. Smooth it all out. Clean it one more time. Then we'll polish it. And I think that's where we're going to leave it until I can bring it outside and show you how it looks in the light. This thing, I did a pretty bad job before I brought this thing in. It looks really good in, in daylight versus all this kind of LED junk, which and the car still looks fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But in natural light, it's, uh, it's not quite as beat looking. So, back to the tripod you go. Check it out. Now, the paint is still soft. So I tried polishing it, but unfortunately it actually started bringing some of the paint off. So we gotta let it, you can see the shine's not quite there. It's like a semi-gloss. So we gotta let it harden up a little bit, but that's where I'm leaving for tonight. Uh, hopefully tomorrow my hand won't hurt so bad I can finish the exhaust. I'll get back on that video, but then this video will end it outside because I think it'll look good, but I actually, step away from it it looks pretty good though hey eh, guys now you can pick something else to make fun of me for i mean it's a short list but i'm sure you'll find something so anyways that's it for me tonight hopefully uh everyone's now happy leave a nice comment come on i earned it i didn't even want to do this thing well i mean whatever mer started this whole thing by polishing the whole damn car old guys they eh, with no uh no agenda they ruin us young guys uh free time anyways that's it for now like, share, subscribe, and we'll uh, pick us up in a couple days when it's outside and it's looking cherry. Uh, you guys were right, I'll admit it. It looks good. Well, guys, it's been a couple days, three or four days, I guess, but we're having great weather, and I drove this thing outside. Look at that hood. Does that look? The fender's hanging out. I gotta finish that yet. Gotta weld the little brace on, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's it's definitely all patched together when you get up close you can tell but you know what in the daylight a couple of shadows on it looks pretty darn good i'm very happy with it so anyways after all that sanding and screwing around and letting it age for a couple days we can probably polish it um at some point now because the paint is is nice and hard but you guessed it if this thing's outside it means the plymouth is back inside so we're uh we're giving her on that, but I think that'll, uh, that'll go pretty quick. And then once that's all over, we'll be right back on this thing. I ordered a bunch more parts, uh, headlight stuff. We got some wiring. There's all, it never ends, never, ever ends. But it runs, it drives, I'm happy with it. I fall in love with this thing yet again. Thanks for hanging out, sticking around. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Tell your friends, comment below, and start sanding through some good paint. You'll feel better. <laughs>